Hello everyone, my name is Dolapo. In this particular video, I'll be showing us how to create petals or flowers using lead and the items you'll be needing. We have our jewelry wires. These are jewelry wires. This is 0.315 mm. In place of this 0.315 mm, you can use 0.20. Okay, we have 0.90. Okay, we also have 0.50 mm. You can use 0.50 mm in place of 0.90, it depends on how you want it. We'll get to that part. So, we have our measuring tape, we have the iron alice band, iron alice band. Okay, we have hot wire. This is her hot wire, the very strong one. Okay, we have our evostic gum. Evostic gum is what we have inside the not action bitters. <laughs> so this is evostic gum. So we also have we need a brush. I have two types of brush here. I have this one and I have this small one. It's a makeup brush, okay, because it's smaller, I prefer it. We have our zigzag scissors, we have our regular scissors, we have our plier to cut, we have UHU glue, okay, and then we have, I have this um, um, accessory to embellish my flower with, okay, and then um, we also need a container to pour our gum, this is just a small container to put my gum, my vosy gum while working. Alright, so the first thing you need, you want to create petals or flower like this, something like this, okay? It can be bigger than this, it could be in any form or in any shape. So the first thing for you to do is to cut out your pattern. There are two ways to go about it. You can either draft a pattern, draft out a pattern on a piece of paper or you print out patterns from the internet, okay? We have leaf patterns, we have petal patterns, different kind of patterns you can work with, okay? But most especially when working with leather, majority use the leaf shade and there are different kinds of leaf shade. If you want to draw out the pattern, if you want to sketch, you can just use a cardboard or a thick paper. I'm using the calendar. So you just fold it into two like this. You fold it into two like this. And draft out whatever pattern you want to draft. Okay. If you want to draft out a leaf like this, this is like a leaf. You just um, fold it into two and draft like this. I'm not a good artist, but and just uh, bring out something like this or different kind of shape this kind of leaf shape it can be anyone if you're good in drawing you can just do something like this like you're drawing out a leaf shape like that okay then you now cut it out you just use your scissors to cut this out like this you just use your scissors to cut it out and for example You can cut out any shape, you understand, any leaf shape of choice. Or you can print out patterns from the internet, so have a very neat job. You can go ahead and print patterns from the internet. Just search on Google, leaf patterns, to bring out different results for you. So this is just a sketch that I made. So you can have something like this, can you see? It can be any shape, so that's just that about drafting out your pattern fit. So I have some patterns that I drafted out earlier. Okay, I'm not a good artist. So these are just patterns I drafted out on my paper. So I use this to create, to cut out this, then this for this, okay, and then like that. So I'm going to go ahead and then cut out the pieces that I need to create a flower. So now look at this flower. You can see we have five petals here one two three four five okay so to create this five petals you're seeing here you need to cut out 10 pieces of petals from your leather so what you just do is you place your paper or your pattern on your leather i'm using the goat skin leather here this is our leather you just place it on it like this and then trace it out like that as many 
tight as possible. If you need 20, just go ahead and draw like that, like this. Just go ahead and draw it like this, like that, like that. Then you cut it out like this. Okay, so this is what we have and what we'll be doing is for each for each one like this for this one you need two pieces of leather cut out so two pieces like this so like I said for this one two three four five we need ten of these so we are going to be using our evostic glue to stick them together and we need our wire there are two ways to go about it you can use the wire of 3.15 mm. I'm using the wire of 3.15 mm, okay, because I don't want the wire to show in beauty. The wire to really show from the outside. You can go ahead and use the 0.9 mm wire. You can see there is a line here. I don't know if you can see clearly. There is a line here, and it's you can easily bend your to form any shape. You can curve it like this using the wire. Can you see? So depends on how you want it. For this one, I use 0 0.90 mm. For this, I am using 0 0.315. So I'm just going to cut it out, get it ready. Then I'm going to pour a little glue right here. Evostic glue. This is evostic glue used for making bags and shoes. So I'm just going to pour a little out. And I'll use my brush. If I cut out a bigger pattern, you can use you can use this kind of brush. But since I'm using a small, I mean piece of leather, I'll be using the small one. So I just spread it on it like this. That's the wrong side of the leather. On the wrong side of the leather. On the two petals, you need to be careful so you don't have gum stains everywhere. I do that on the second one as well and I'm going to leave it for few maybe about one minute for it to dry for it to dry right you can be touching it to make sure that it's just touch it to see if it is dry before you go ahead now I've applied glue on this as well and um, once it is dry this is what we're going to be doing like I said I'll be using 0.315 ml wire for this one so this is how I'm going to place it just watch this part carefully this, can you see this is the bottom part of the flower or the petal so I'll just place it the wire like this place it like this like I'm doing a circle like that then I'm going to place the second one. Make sure you get the bottom. This is the bottom. This is the upper part of the petal. And I'm going to place it on it like this. Can you see? And then glue them together. Okay. You can use my plier or anything to apply pressure. Make sure that it sticks together very well. I did the same for this one. Then for this one, I'm using the wire of 0.90 mm you can use 0 0.50 if you want to but i like the thickness this one is so i'm just going to cut out this is like the length of the that will cover the leaf so th this wire now can you see how i place it's going to cover the leaf i will now add one inch or one and a half inch extra before i cut it so I've cut it, I'm going to place it right here in the middle, like this, from here, not on the tip, from here, a little bit away from the tip and middle of the leaf, I'm going to place it like that, can you see, okay, and I'm also going to, going to cut out the same measurement for 0.315 mm and place it beside it. I'm 
and place it beside and place it beside the thick wire. Can you see? I place it beside it. Then I'm going to cover it with the second piece of leather. I glue them together. Let me show I set it well and I glue them together. Okay? So you can see that uh, we have the wire showing in the middle. Okay, after you must have glued them together, just make sure you apply a lot of pressure with something like your plier or anything. Then you need to trim off this. You need to trim off to discover that they are not aligned well. You can just trim off the excess on any of the piece like this. So after you are done trimming off the excess, you just keep it aside. You can use the back of your scissors to smoothen it up, to smoothen it so that they will be equal. Just the back a little. So with this, you can always, you can always, can you see? You can bend it anyhow to form any shape. Can you see? You can bend it this way to form any shape. The same thing goes with this. This one is even easy to bend because of the thick wire in it. You can always bend it. So this is like a leaf we have. I also have this one I made. I used the 0.315 mm wire. You can use any type of wire, depends on how you want it. If you want that line to show in the middle, then use the thick wire 0.90 mm. So this one too, you can always bend it anyhow you want it. You can just bend it anyhow you want it. I used the zigzag scissors here to cut out the edges instead of the straight scissors. You can use the straight scissors to finish up, glue them together, and now use the zigzag scissors to cut out the edges like exactly what you're saying here. So I'm going to pick them one after the other. I'll be using my UHU. So I picked the first one. You know, we have five of them. Two, this is what we want to form. This is the third one. And this is the fifth one. This makes a set. Okay, so to assemble them or to make them stick together, we'll be using our glue. But you need to arrange it to know how you want them to stay. Okay, so I'll be gluing this to the, this to this. I'll be gluing this to this right here. So I'm going to apply my glue. Just need to allow it dry. I'm just going to glue. I'll glue it to it right here, like this. Can you see? I pick the next one. Applying glue on this third one. You need to be careful so you don't have gum stains. Then I place it on it like this. You need to allow it dry. Can you see? So I apply glue on this fourth one here. I'm still on this third one. I place the fourth one right here. Can you see? Apply glue here, right here, and I glue it to it. I, I make sure it dries before I glue, so that it um, it works better that way and lasts longer. And bend it anyhow you want it. Can you see? Wire wire and use it to wrap it at the back like this. We just wrap it right here. Can you see? Right here at the back. I just wrap it round. I hold onto this and use this to wrap round. Okay. So after you're done wrapping round like that, can you see what we have? So you can use any accessory. Just I'm using this one. I'm going to cut 
form it like this and then put my glue right here I let it dry then I place it on it like this just a way to embellish my flower so you can always you can always bend your leather anyhow you want it okay so this is what we have can you see how beautiful this is looking so you can make these multiples of this use it to embellish your your fascinator base or your headpiece so for this one we're going to be doing the same thing as well the same way i'm going to assemble them together 